Hey, what's going on everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you guys my 75 gallon planted aquarium. Uh, this tank's been up for probably about a year or so. And it's pretty much most of the fish from my 65 gallon aquarium that I had set up for a few years. Um, pretty much just moved all the fish over to here because they were getting quite large. Uh, so t to go into the fish, we have three Congo Tetras. They're absolutely massive now. Two ballast sharks, which are getting pretty big. A very large red tail shark. He's very fat. I think he's a lot of algae. And I have two angelfish, just, you know, a common type, whatever they are. But then I still have the electric blue Jack Dempsey. He's like, I'd say almost four years old, something like that. And he's doing really well. He's probably about six or so inches in length. I'm trying to get a better shot for you guys. Um, he's cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much all the livestock I have. Oh, I do have one uh, little upside down catfish. I'm not really sure where he hangs out though. Usually on the surface, but I'm not seeing him. Uh, this tank has a FX4 on it. I just got on Black Friday for like half off. That was a super good deal. I had the Fluval 406 on it before, which was doing a good job, but the FX4 is keeping the tank like crystal clear. So I definitely would recommend the FX4, super good filter. Um, for plants in here, just have uh, a bunch of crypts on this side of the tank, and then the rest of the tank is pretty much just jungle val that I harvested locally, and so it's been doing pretty good. Been trying to keep up with the fertilizers and stuff, and then uh, one of on sword over there, and pretty much just a rock for aquascape and I do a eco-complete substrate in the back and it's just some sand in the front pool filter sand from Lowe's or Home Depot uh, for lights I'm still rocking the Kessel A150s WEs whatever they're called they're getting pretty old and you can definitely tell they're not as powerful as they used to be like three or four years ago but they're definitely still good enough. And like, as you can see, the tank's very well lit. So I'm not gonna replace those till they burn out, honestly. Um, I'm dosing the aquarium co-op stuff these days. Just the easy green. It's a super good fertilizer, honestly. And it's like really easy just to squirt the bottle a few times. And I mean, it's working very well. I used to use um, the Seachem products, but honestly, the Eagle Complete works better and it's way easier to use. So why, or sorry, the Aquarium Co-op Easy stuff works better and is much easier to dose. So I just squirt that in the tank. <laughs> Anything to save me time, I'll do. Um, I'm feeding Cichlid Staple. For the angels and the Jack Dempsey, and then the rest of the guys, fiber bites or uh, frozen bloodworms, frozen uh, mice shrimp, some flakes sometimes. That's pretty much what I like to feed. There's the blue Jack Dempsey. He's about four years old and he's looking super good. I actually just picked up another one, a little baby one. I'm gonna try to raise up. And, um, you know, they're super cool and honestly my favorite fish, so why not? They're not that expensive either, you know, 20 bucks or whatever. And um, this guy is a big eater. I throw live shrimp in here and live minnow sometimes, absolutely destroys them. So it's a really good tank and I like it. It's just like the 75 gallon setup from 
PetSmart or whatever. Cause I got it for like a hundred bucks one year. And I like it a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just thought I would share my current big tank I have going on right now. And I'd like to get more fishing for this. Maybe some Roseline Sharks again, but I haven't been able to find those for a reasonable price, so. Well, I was maybe gonna add some Dwarf Sag somewhere. Maybe some pots full of stuff. I just wasn't sure yet. But, yep. This is, I guess, what you can expect from a Electric Blue. I mean, I definitely don't think he got as big as a regular one would, but he's still about six inches, I'd say. I've never measured him, but I'm just gonna guess that. When this is a 75 gallon tank, you can see how big he is there. All right, well, that's gonna be it for the update. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys next time.